Wagyu, it's the most delicious and the most desired beef in the world. Wagyu means Japan's beef, and I'm here in Totori Prefecture because they won the Wagyu Olympics, making it the number one beef brand in Japan. Every five years, the Wagyu Olympics is held to see which brand and area is the best. 513 cattle came to Sendai to compete on best marbling and leanness. Totori Wagyu won the award for best beef this year. Top beef brands Kobe and Matsuzaka weren't present, so it begs the question, is Totori the new number one Wagyu in Japan? You see, all Japanese Wagyu beef is extremely tasty. A4 or A5 beef grading. It's all so good that it's hard to tell the difference. Kobe beef is the most famous Wagyu brand, limited to just 3 to 5,000 cattle a year, just half of 1% of the domestic beef. It's rare. But is that selection and rarity really worth it? All top Wagyu brands live stress-free lives in areas of fresh water, clean air with healthy diets to increase leanness and marbling. It's lighter and tastier than other beef. You know when you taste it, it's that good. But in this episode, I'm gonna tell you why Totori Wagyu is so good. It comes from one of the most natural places in all of Japan with a history of having Wagyu cattle. Mount Daisen the Mount Fuji of the West. It provides Totori with some of Japan's purest water, supplies the area with amazing soil for produce, nutritious grass for cows and cattle to graze on. And yeah, they have really good milk and ice cream too. The area between Mount Daisen and Yonago City is loaded with farms right near the sea. It's a place where you don't have to pick either mountain or beach for vacation. They're both there. This is Nishida-san's Bokujo, or ranch, where he has his own brand of Wagyu called Daisen Kuroushi. They live in clean pens of three. Their lives are all about relaxing. They love being scratched, and unlike cattle overseas, Wagyu are super friendly and approachable. It takes a little while to build trust and make friends. Wagyu are also really curious. That ring in their nose is to help lead them safely. It's the easiest way with minimal stress to lead a stubborn cattle. For Wagyu, that usually means because they're too lazy to get up. Kimuchi, feels good? <laughs> Wagyu are very gentle and very clean. Nishida-san let me come in and help brush them after they'd gotten a chance to know me. With those horns, one could be worried. But really, these Wagyu are just like kids. The neighbor's jealous that they're not getting brushed too. One Wagyu at a time, folks. All Japanese Wagyu have a 10-digit number that identifies them online. The livestock database can track the date of birth and track each back to their mother. All Japanese Wagyu have this number all the way to the restaurant, so you always know where the meat came from. Nishida-san really treated his Wagyu with a lot of love and affection. They seemed pretty happy to me. So how do I wrap my head around the idea of eating these lovable Wagyu? Daisen Kuroushi Kyoshote is where Nishida-san's Wagyu beef goes. To eat it, I had to learn how the Japanese do it, which required learning an important lesson here. The principles of itadakimasu. It's one of the most important Japanese words you can learn. And Nakanomori-san taught me the deep meaning of the word to people in Japan. <laughs> で、
でその時に私たちは食べる側として牛に対してその命をいただくわけですからありがとうねあなたの命をいただきますということでいただきますそこには愛情もあるし尊敬もあるわけですねその食べる牛に対する愛情というものが食べる時にも牛に愛情を持って食べると It's more than just a word we say in Japan It's a deep feeling of appreciation Japanese have for the food in front of them. In the kitchen, Nagatani san, an experienced chef who has handled Wagyu for decades, taught me a little bit about the different cuts of meat. Kyoshote prepares their Daisen Kurouchi brand for yakiniku. This first cut is called Hanishita, called chuck flap in English, part of the shoulder loin or rib side. You can see that intense marbling. The next cut is called kurimi, or chuck tender near the shoulder. It's loaded with that umami taste on another level. The final cut is called hiuchi, which is a premium upper leg cut limited to just two kilograms of the wagyu. Wagyu oil is different from other kinds of beef. It contains more omega-3 and 6 fatty acids and more monounsaturated fatty acid than other beef. After Nagatani-san has cut enough Wagyu for my dinner, he prepares it as beautifully as he can. Great respect is paid to the meat, which is why it's set so well for the customer. Three different cuts to try. This is going to be quite a meal. Itadakimasu. It doesn't take long for the meat to cook on the grill. Generally, it's better to cook the meat through so the oil is heated. With yakiniku, it takes about 15 seconds. There's a selection of sauces and salt. This one you can eat with wasabi. Wasabi is a nice way to go, adding extra depth to the meat. But really, with this Wagyu beef, you can eat it as is and be really satisfied. Oh yeah. It's not too oily. Abra amari. Hi. Akami wa abra ga sukna i desu shi. Soe kara kono daisen kuroushi no tokucho wa abra ga sugoku shizen na desu. Sore wa stress ga nai te yu koto to sugoku kanke ga fukai to mo. The oil is there, but not overpowering or heavy. <laughs> Each piece was absolutely delicious. <laughs> so, which one is better, Kobe or Totori? To me, Totori beef is just as good and a fraction of the cost. Thankfully, if you're eating Kobe or Totori beef, you can ask the manager for that 10 digit number and know exactly where it's from. It's worth traveling around Japan to eat different Wagyu. Throughout the country, there are over 300 Wagyu brands. There are also many ways to eat it all based on personal preference. Mount Dyson has a long history of being one of Japan's cattle marketplaces. The environment around this area of Totori has made it an ideal place to raise Wagyu cattle, and that balance with nature yields some of the best beef in the world. It really is something to give thanks to.
If you liked it, hit that subscribe button and check out another one of our shows. Don't miss my second live streaming channel, Only in Japan Go! And check out location photos on Instagram. またね。<音楽>